Hey y'all, this is Molly Rose and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the Toombot Studio Drum Tuner. And before I see people in the comments say, oh, you should be able to tune by ears, you're a drummer, this and that and this. Name me another instrument besides the drums that you tune by ear and that you don't use some sort of tuner for. Oh, nothing, nothing, that's right. So I don't wanna be seeing any comments about, oh, you should be doing it by ear. No, you should be using a tune bot because you're gonna be able to tune your drums just like a guitar to a certain hertz and a certain note and make it sound beautiful in this, in two seconds. And it's gonna make you a better musician. It's gonna make you better at tuning drums. So yeah, I'm very excited to show you guys this um, drum tuner. I did a bunch of research because I am going on tour in about a month and I'm my own drum tech. And I felt like a little anxious about tuning drums for arenas. I was like, wow, that's that's a really high, I felt like that was a really high task for me to fill. And I have never felt 100% confident in my drum tuning skills. So I did a bunch of research and I found that the TuneBot Studio is literally the best tuner, drum tuner out there. And I've been messing around with it for a couple of days and I love it. I've had so much fun messing with frequencies and do, trying different combinations and seeing you know, what works and what doesn't work. And I think I have made my drum sound the best they have sounded in a long time. And I'm so excited to share this with y'all. So um, let me just jump in and I'll tell you guys a little bit about the tuner, kind of show you guys how to use the tuner. And then I will do um, a little demo and you guys can see how my new drum sound with the TuneBot. So the TuneBot Studio offers a reliable reading with a high frequency range, a four color display, streamlined keypad, and kit saving options, all in a performance package that's easy to operate. Discover how awesome your drums can sound after drum tuning with the TuneBot Studio. Find your ultimate drum tunings, save them, and retune them in a flash with our flagship drum tuner. You can get great consistent drum tones in minutes. It is super easy to use. The TuneBot shows you the frequencies in hertz and the note and the octave. On the studio version, you can save your settings. You can save up to five kits and on each of those kits, 10 drums and a top and bottom head. So like I can save my purple Mapex kit under kit one. I can save my GMS kit under kit two and I can just press some buttons and then bada bing, bada boom, I have all my frequencies automatically saved in there, which is only on this version, which is super cool. Okay, so you might be asking, Okay, so I got the tune bot, I like it, but I need to figure out what frequencies and what hertz I need to set each of the drums to. So I was doing a bunch of research and on the tune bot website, they have a tuning guide, which has a bunch of, if you're, if you're a nerd, I think you would really like it because you can read all about like the math and the hertz. It's actually very interesting, a little over my head, but I think a lot of people would really enjoy that. And it shows you um, tables by how many drums you have on your drum set because you wanna get certain intervals apart from it. So, you know, if you have a drum set with 10, 12, 14, 16, it will tell you um, kind of how you can like tune your drums like that, right? And it also shows you max, high, medium, and low resonance. So I was actually just messing around, kind of like mixing and matching what I liked, and I'll show you guys what I liked. Um, and they also have a tuning calculator, so you can manually, manually put in, you know, I have a 10 inch tom, and then you can put in all of kind of the settings that you like, and it will give you a hertz, and it'll give you a hertz reading, and it is super easy to use. They also have an app, that you can do pretty much the same thing. And also I saw that they had um, artist saved settings. So I, I think I saw like Dennis Chambers was on there and a bunch of other amazing drummers. And you can see what they set their drums to with the tune bot, which I thought was really cool. Also, I went on TikTok and I watched a bunch of videos on people using the tune bot and I was just kind of messing around and I got to hear, you know, what people were doing on TikTok. That's another one. Just like look up, you know, um, how to use the tune bot for your kick drum. And there's a bunch of videos on how you can get your kick drum to sound like a metal drummer, a jazz drummer. So just do some research and you guys will find what hurts you like. And I will also show you guys what I 
kind of messed around with and created and what my drums are set to right now. We got a 12 inch tom here and it has a color toned Emperor Remo drum head on it. So let's just do a little sound test to see what we're starting with. Okay, so we got a lot of sustain. Um, I will say these heads, I do tend to notice that there is a lot of sustain in these heads. So let's get going with the tomb bot. So first we're gonna just turn it on, press the little red button right here. All right, and we see that our Hertz are at zero, zero, zero. And I'm going, it just clips on right there onto the rim like that. So for this one, we're going to try and get our top head at 149 Hertz. So let's go around and kind of see what we are kind of working with at first. What are we doing? One, 149. Oh, that one's actually 149. And you just want to get them within about two hertz of each other. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I have not actually touched this head in a while. I did not pre-tune this or anything. Just want to go around and try and get it all within about one or two hertz. Let's see. All right. We got it all kind of about 149. And next, we're going to press this button, the triangle button, which will take us to our difference mode. And that is where, as you can see, it is now set our target is at 149. And so now this is gonna fine tune each of the lugs so that we can hit our target. So let's see how kind of close we are. So see right there, it says we're negative 1.5 Hertz. So, but you can just, this is where you move it very little. You will move the drum key just ever so slightly. You see how little that was? and you just wanna get it close to zero. Cause right now we're already pretty in tune with the drum, but you see how little I'm moving it and how much it moves it. It's like you just move it little by little, but you see how it already all sounds really close to one another. I'm barely moving it. There we go. And you have to remember that when you're tuning, if you tune one lug, it messes with all of the other lugs too. All right. So this top, this top head is pretty good. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom head, which I think is probably where our big problem is. So Right, we got our doom bot on the bottom. Remember, the red button is just to turn it on. And for this one, I'm going to try and get our Hertz to 285. So let's see kind of where we're at. Okay, looks like we're pretty low. So what I'm gonna do, in this case, what I usually do is just go around and kind of just tune them all up. Cause I know that we're pretty off from our target. So let's see, okay. Seems like maybe another turn. We can kind of get close to our 285 target and then we can start going from there. All right, we're getting close. We'll start with that. Remember, it doesn't have to be right on 285. We just wanna get it within one or two hertz and then we'll fine tune it in the difference mode. But look how fast this is. Honestly, I've the past couple days I've been having so much fun with this. Just like I've been tuning stuff really fast. I've been trying out new different tunings on everything, kind of seeing what I like. That one's good. Little, it's just little minute, little little ones. All right, let's see how that sounds compared. We definitely tightened up the bottom head quite a bit, so it should sound a lot better. Oh yeah, that already sounds a lot better from our starting point on our 12 inch tom.
So kind of final thoughts about how I think that the kit sounds. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it sounds really clean and really tight. And my favorite is the kick drum. I think that the kick drum sounds amazing. I love it. It sounds punchy, but it doesn't, it doesn't stain too much. I think that mic'd up, this is going to sound amazing. My snare drum. It sounds really good with or without a moon gel on it. I like it with both. I think it sounds amazing. And the toms, they sound just perfect. having some issues trying to figure out how to tune the 16 inch tom because I haven't actually had a 16 inch tom in a while. I had um, a 15 inch floor tom for a long time um, because this this one was so sustainy but I tightened up the bottom head a lot and I think that we got a really good attack on it. So overall I am very very excited about the way my drums sound. I think they sound great and they sound better. They sound a lot better than they did before. Let me know in the comments um, if they sound better. Thank you guys again for watching this video and kind of my final thoughts. I think that if you are a new drummer and you kind of are exploring with tuning drums, it can really be a learning curve. And also our ears, all of our ears are just made different and we all hear things differently. So sometimes, even for me, it can be really hard to... I'm like, are those, do those two lugs sound the same? Some, sometimes it clicks and sometimes it doesn't click. You know, if you're going on tour and you're own, your, your own drum tech, or if you just wanna have some fun and kind of nerd out on frequencies, I think that the TuneBot is for you. You guys can get it on Sweetwater. It's only a hundred bucks. I mean, that's nothing. That's, that's really nothing. And this is like the fully loaded one. So this is the one I would a thousand percent get, the TuneBot Studio. I would get this one. And if y'all get it, you guys can can message me on Instagram at Molly Rose Drums. Send me a pic. I would love to see it. My TikTok is at Country Drummer Girl, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.